This is Claude 2. The latest version of the large language model Claude from Anthropic. It's got better performance, can have longer responses, and can be accessed via an API as well as the public website Claude AI. It's billed as the latest competitor to OpenAI's ChatGPT, and in this video we'll be comparing the two. One of the main advantages of Claude is that it has a 100k context, uh, so that mean, roughly equates to about 75,000 words, so we can put that into any prompt. Within the first 30 minutes of me getting access, I was able to create a web scraper that made use of this context because I was taking HTML snippets and pasting them in as prompts. And this is something that I just wouldn't be able to do with ChatGPT. I can take the entire source of a website and input that as a prompt. If you've not heard of them, Anthropic is an AI company that was founded by some of the original senior members of OpenAI. They're extremely well funded, up to the tune of 1.5 billion. So with all that funding, and you can see that one of the major investors is Google here, they're actually kind of a big deal in uh, the world of AI. So Claude 2 has got an improved score on a number of different tests. We can see that it's improved from 73% to 76.5 on the bar exam. Uh, it's it's gone above the 90th percentile on the GR reading and writing exams. And one of the most interesting ones to me is that it's gone from 56% to 71.2% on the Codex Human Eval uh, coding test, which is actually one that's written by OpenAI. So it's in beta now for anyone in the US and UK, and it's actually free uh, as it's in beta, which is my favorite kind of price. As you can see, Claude already has the ability to upload files. So I was able to upload a paper that was on the dinosaur input device from Industrial Light and Magic that was used for Jurassic Park. We can actually see the content of that paper that is extracted. If we click on it, you can see the entire content of the paper, the 506 extracted lines there. And I asked Claude to summarize the content of that paper. And you can see here that it does a really good job of that, that explains what it device was for and how it was used. So we've already got this uploadability straight away without having to spend anything extra. So I asked Anthropic to create a poem about Python, and this is what it's come back with. Elegant Python language so sleek, your syntax is clear, your liberty's unique. With indentation and simplicity, you read like English naturally. I've actually done the same for ChatGPT as well, and we've got a much longer one. I'm not going to read all of this out, but it seems a bit more poetic. Um, so it's in the heart of the machine, a serpent uncoils, Python a name that through time it spoils, a language of logic yet gentle and kind, complexity unravelling in the coder's mind. I kind of prefer this poem to the uh, one that Claude's come up with, so I think that's a little bit nicer. Claude 2 has much more recent data available to it, so it's able to go all the way up to 2023. You can see here if we ask it who the current CEO of Twitter is, that it replies that G Elon Musk is the CEO of Twitter, and now he's not currently, um, it's, so it's not completely up to date, but it's more recent than uh, we'd find with ChatGPT. So we can see here if we ask GPT 3.5, it responds that it's Jack Dorsey, and it obviously isn't. So I asked Claude what Langchain was, um, because that should fall within its training uh, data set. And it says it's an AI assistant created by Anthropic, which to my knowledge it isn't. It is an open source library and a set of tools. And when I tried to correct it, it just carried on uh, going down this rabbit hole of saying it's a conversational model developed by Anthropic. Now to my, whether or not Anthropic has done this, I don't know, but that's definitely not what I'd expect it to respond with at the moment. <laughs> and I get so annoyed, I actually say to do, do better next time. Uh, and it apologizes, which is kind of funny. If we do the same for ChatGPT, actually it responds straight away saying, I don't know anything about landing chain. My training cutoff was in September, 2021. So we can use command K shortcut to be able to create a new conversation. And I'm going to ask it this logic puzzle that I got from uh, Stack Overflow. So if it takes five machines five minutes to make five devices, how long would it take 100 machines to make 100 devices? Now the answer should be five minutes still, because the number of machines and the number of devices is scaled proportionally. We'll see what it gives us the answer. And we can see that that's failed. Let's try it in GPT 3.5. 
and that actually works, which is good. But Claude has failed. That's interesting. Let's try the same one in GPT-4. And there we go, that's worked as well. So Claude's not able to solve that puzzle, so its reasoning there is not particularly great. Claude 2 is able to analyze code as well. So because we can upload files, we can upload code. I'm gonna upload this um, simple scraper that I've built, uh, which is actually the one I mentioned earlier that Claude helped building. So we'll see if it can understand this and if it can give me any feedback on it. So you can see it does pretty well there. It's fairly expected because it actually wrote the code. Let's see if it can suggest any improvements. So you can see here that it's suggested using CSS collect uh, selectors instead of class names. That is suggested put writing things out to a CSV file, crawling multiple pages, and using regex to better parse and extract fields from strings. These are all fairly decent suggestions. Um, it is a very simple scraper uh, as it stands. There's actually a bug in this in that it's not gonna do anything as things stand uh, because it's not got a URL in there. So I'm gonna see if it can spot that. So yeah, you can see that it's said that the starting URL is empty, so it's correctly identified that. And it's saying that we should have try exception box around things, which is a fair suggestion. But then it did write the code in the first place, so it should have done it itself, right? Um, <laughs> and everything else that is suggesting um, things like it's fairly brittle because it relies on strings like RAM and gigabytes. Those are things that I guided it to do in the original. So I think this is fairly decent analysis of the code that we've uploaded. So yeah, it's pretty good here. So let's test what Claude can do in terms of data analytics. So I've got this data set that I had on previous video, which is a load of film statistics from Kaggle. I've downloaded this um, and it comes down as a zip file. If you look in here and we can't actually select it. So it doesn't support uploading zip files. I'm gonna to have to unzip that first. And obviously on ChatGPT, that is something that we can do. We can upload a zip file and it will just extract it. And we've got that now. So that's interesting because it's a large CSV, it won't let us upload it because it's at 230% over the length limit. So even with that context limit of 100,000 tokens, uh, we go over it, so I might edit that and just uh, see if we can get something that we can work with. So we've gone down to 1500 rows on this file and it's still 15% over the length limit. There were originally 4300, so we're having to rows in there and I'm having to reduce, uh, remove quite a lot. So let's go down to 1300, see how it copes with that. This upload seems a bit buggy actually um, when things fail. Okay, so it's finally got the file, so we can actually check it. It's just a test at this point to see if it can do something with it. Now, unfortunately, that file has been uploaded with the name Movie Statistics. I would have preferred that it wasn't, but we shall see if it's able to do anything interesting with the data anyway. So it's come back with the details of the rows, uh, sorry, of the columns there. Um, so it's been able to read it. Let's see if it can actually give us some information on it. So I've asked it to determine the average production budget. We'll see if we can actually figure that out. And this is, uh, yeah, it's particularly slow in comparison to the ChatGPT code interpreter. This is much slower uh, when it's analyzing data here. Okay, so it has come back with the average production budget. So if we actually go away and run this code that it's given me and to check that what it's saying is true, so it says 94 million, actually what we get is 92 million. How it's determining this, I don't know, but it doesn't match what the code is saying. It may well be that this is a hallucination and actually it's not running that, it's just making a wild guess and that this is what we should be running. But either way, it's a confusing answer because they don't match. And finally, if we actually check that it, whether or not we can do a render of a graph or something, Okay, so it's come back saying how we can visualize the production budgets uh, based on my request to get a chart. So it's not gonna be able to render this code. And in fact, it seems like the code responses are things that are slowing this down. Um, so yeah, 
and interestingly it's also come back with that the conversation has actually reached its maximum length now so i have to start a new conversation if i want to carry on so yeah not not the best result for claude there on data analysis so yeah i hope you enjoyed this quick look at claude 2 um, go and sign up for it if you haven't already it's obviously in beta at the moment and who knows how long it's going to last being free if you enjoyed the video then give it a thumbs up consider subscribing to the channel and i'll speak to you soon new video all right bye for now